Tell me what it's like to be circling among the clouds Because without you by my side I would be stuck here on the ground You're lighting up the way I can see the road ahead of me I won't be stumbling in the dark Your eyes are shining like the stars I was down Until you saved me Until you set me free My eyes were closed Now I see clear as day And I just wanted to say That you can take me high Feels like I can fly Good morning, you guys. I've been up for like two hours and I hopped in the shower really quickly so that way I could shower before Miles woke up. Got some towels going in the washer. I put some dishes away. Tried to be a little bit productive. I just gave the kids waffles this morning because honestly their favorite breakfast is either waffles or oatmeal and they've been eating a lot of oatmeal already. So yeah, I... I'm gonna go try to mess with my espresso machine and the video where I was talking about it the last vlog I'm actually about to post it now today while I'm filming this so I haven't gotten any like suggestions from you guys yet but it's not even grinding the coffee beans so I quite literally cannot make coffee unless I can get it to do that obviously so I may have to run out and get coffee I don't know yet I'll keep you guys updated but I just wanted to get the vlog started okay so this is what it's doing nothing Nothing. Uh, there's coffee beans in there. What is wrong with it? Does this mean we get to go and buy some iced coffee? Yeah, you think so? He just woke up, you guys. Are you gonna eat your waffle? <laughs> this is so cute that we smile so big. Yeah, it is cute when he smiles so it's, big. It's, it's, so, it's so cute that he does this. Yummy. <laughs> I'm obsessed with my baby. I'm obsessed with my baby. He just, he's happy. <laughs> you can get down, Goosh Goosh. There you go. Come here, Goosh. Where are you going? Come here, Goosh Goosh. <gasps> what are you doing? Miles, come here to me. Come here to mommy. <laughs> he's too busy. He's too busy for mama. Hi. Yeah, you are. I just have a mobile order for Courtney. Thank you. Since this thing fell off in the last video, I realized how you can take it off. So don't, don't tell Josh. We need this area right here. I am creating a bad habit all over again. Like a bad routine. Because now these kids are going to be used to cookies and me going and getting coffee every day. But we're not going to keep doing this. We have our iced caramel macchiato made with oat milk, no whip. I actually did get a white mocha yesterday and I was really sad that I did it. Don't let me do that again, y'all. The caramel macchiato is just so much better, but I'm sad, y'all. So today is, what's today? What's today? Today when I'm filming this, it's July 7th. <laughs> Don't judge me. It's July 7th and two nights ago, so on July 5th, I was able to successfully lay Miles down in his crib and I didn't nurse him. So he didn't nurse all day that day. Right now, he, he has been nursing before bed and that's it. But I laid him down, he didn't cry, he didn't anything. He just went right to sleep, just like he does if I nurse him before bed. And I was like, okay, you know, I did it because we actually have something that we're gonna be going and doing in like a week or so and someone's gonna be watching the kids and I won't be there to nurse Miles so I'd rather him be adjusted to it versus just letting someone watch him and then I'm just not there and he doesn't nurse when he's used to nursing you know what I mean so it went well but then I bawled my eyes out that night because I thought to myself the last time I nursed him you know was the day before July 4th and we were over at Josh's mom's house and so I just really quickly went in another room and nursed him and so when I laid him down and didn't nurse him I was thinking last night was the last time I nursed him and I didn't realize it was the last time I nursed him or was gonna nurse him and so I couldn't handle it I was so upset so long story short yesterday I nursed him before I laid him down for his nap because I wasn't ready I wasn't ready I didn't nurse him before bed. I didn't want to like go backwards and nurse him twice in one day, but I did nurse him before his nap. I don't know what I'm going to do today, y'all. I don't know. I don't know if I'm ready. I feel like he's going to handle it just fine. I don't think I'm ready. This is the longest I've nursed any of the boys. I stopped with Bryce at 11 months old because my birth control dried me up. And then Liam was only nursed for like 
I think like six weeks, four, four to six weeks, because I didn't know what I was doing, so I gave up. But I think I'm gonna have a hard time getting through this one. I do, because it's the last time I will nurse ever. I'm not having any more babies. So it's just, it hits a little bit differently and I'm not okay. But anyways, I just wanna share that with you guys. I'm gonna drink my coffee now. What were you asking me the other day? Were you asking me how old they would be when you're 17? We need to look back at this whenever you're 17. I told him that when he's 17, Bryce will be 14 and Miles will be 12. And he was like, oh, he was so shocked. I guess he doesn't realize how close in age they actually are because he thought they were still gonna be younger. <laughs> Is that gonna be so cool whenever you guys are older? Yeah. You're oh my goodness, he got chocolate on his foot. Ooh. I'm gonna have to clean him up when we get home. Oh my god, he's touching his toe. It's so yummy. <laughs> <laughs> Ross, is your cookie yummy? Yep. Yummy? Yeah, it's yucky. Yeah, Miles is yucky. They're all like focused on the fact that Miles has cookie all over him. Yucky. Look at these boys. It kind of is sad, like, well, it's not sad that he's rear facing, but it's sad because whenever I show them to you guys, I can't show all of them. You only get feet. You only get Miles' feet. <laughs> so I have been posting on TikTok and I've also been posting reels over on Instagram and Facebook. So I'm gonna make sure I link my Facebook page, my Instagram and my TikTok down below for you guys so y'all can follow and all of that because I've trying to been, I've trying to been, I'm trying to be active on other platforms as well and I'm terrible at it. But if you guys are interested in that, go follow me. Honestly, you look amazing. I love it. I love it. I still love whenever he puts his little mushroom thing in his mouth. I think it's the cutest thing ever. Look at all the chocolate though, for real. <laughs> Did you enjoy the cookie? Did you? Oh my goodness. All right guys, so I know that I shared this little photo printer with you guys very recently. This is the Lian 4x6 Wi-Fi photo printer and I love it. I'm obsessed with it. They sent me their pink one and I'm gonna unbox it. I'm so excited. You guys know that I have used this one right here to print off the photos for Miles's little birthday banner and it turned out great. I loved it so much. I still have the pictures, of course. And what I wanna do today actually is put a new picture in this frame. This is, I, I think this is the first picture me and Josh ever took together. And as you can see, it's, it's a frame where it's just, your picture's just kind of clipped right here. So see how it's curved. And I don't know if I'm gonna do the same picture or a different picture. I'm really excited, okay? I am a pink girl. I do love pink. It comes with your user manual. So here is your power cord, just like with the other printer. You guys, look at this. Let me make sure it's focused. Look how cute this pink one is. The main difference between these two printers is that the white one is rechargeable, so it's more portable. You don't have to have it plugged in to use it, whereas this one is not. The pink one, you do have to have it plugged in to use it, but it's still just as compact and very, very convenient. Look how beautiful that is. I feel like this one would be the perfect gift for any women in your life, especially young girls or just anyone that loves the color pink. So whenever you order one of these printers, it does come with 20 sheets of photo paper, your power cord, and an ink cartridge. I also have a box of 40 extra sheets of photo paper here because I'm really excited to print off a lot of photos. I told you guys that I do not print off nearly enough photos and I really wanna to put together a photo album, especially something that the boys can look back on and it's a hard copy in their hand. I just feel like there's something more special about that versus just photos on your phone. So these printers will make that so much more easy and convenient. I can print from the comfort of my own home anytime I feel like it and I don't have to run to the store, especially with taking all of the kids to the store. You guys know how that goes for me. So the way that I choose to print my photos is directly from my phone. You you can do it from your laptop or your desktop. There's many different options. All of my photos are in my phone, so I just find it a lot more convenient to personally use my phone. It's extremely easy to do. You can use the app on your phone, and I'm really impressed by the quality of these photos, you guys. They come out amazing. I wanted to show you my personal favorite feature again, because you guys know we do not have a lot of space in our house. I'm all about compact storage, okay? You can easily make this even more compact if you can't believe it. So you just pop this out, okay? Close this, yes. And then this closes up as well. And you literally place it on the top. It's magnetic, 
Okay, magnetic, super cute, super convenient. If you guys are interested in ordering one of these for yourself or for a friend or family member, like I said, this would make an amazing, amazing gift. I highly recommend it. I've been loving printing out all the photos of the kids. If you have kids and you have a thousand photos in your phone that you would like to get printed out, this is the perfect product for you. Amazon Prime Day is July 13th, so I'm gonna have the links and the discount codes down below for you guys. Thank you so much to Leanne for sponsoring today's video. See the sun staring at you when you make that smile. I'm moving closer to you now I can't get close enough somehow And I was down Until you saved me Until you set me free My eyes were closed Now I see clear as day And I just wanted to say That you can take me high What are you guys doing in here? Making the fort! You're making a fort? Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. You got the blankets? Yep. Oh, yep. oh my goodness, Miles is just like all up in the middle of this. Okay. <laughs> that is so funny. He's crawling out, he's escaping. They took all my blankets and stuff from the living room, but it's fine. And now they're having tablet time. These kids have been all over the house today. Would you believe me if I told you it's almost two o'clock and I haven't ate yet? So, I'm snacking. But I need to put laundry away, so I don't even have time. I don't have time to eat right now. I have to fold and put all this away. I just got it out of the dryer, and then I have towels in the dryer. I honestly hate running my dryer right now because my AC can't keep up as it is, but I've been trying to do like one load a day, so that way I don't get terribly behind on my laundry because I was just terribly behind on my laundry and it was a horrible, horrible feeling. Anyways, here we go. Okay, so everything is folded now and laid out to be put on hangers. As long as I do this and it's like in my way on my bed, then I will 100% put it away because I don't have a choice. If I leave it in the dryer, it will stay in the dryer, you guys. It will stay. So one load of clothes is done. I still have towels in the dryer. So if I do two loads in one day, I usually will do one load of clothes and then one load of like towels or blankets or something that's really easy to put away. If I do that, I'm way more likely to finish it and actually put everything away. And I like to do the hard thing first. So I like to do the clothes first because the towels, they just seem like nothing. Folding and putting away towels seems like nothing compared to all of my clothes and the boys clothes so feeling productive the sink's pretty much empty and I managed to do some laundry that's a productive day in my book and if you haven't done laundry or dishes today but you've kept your kids alive honey you've been productive too okay that's me most days don't get it twisted my kids are literally still out here just doing their thing. Miles is napping. That's the only reason I managed to be able to get this laundry done. I'm gonna end the vlog here. Do you guys want to say bye? Bye bye. Say bye, Liam. Bye. Thank you guys so much for watching. We will see you in the next video. Bye, guys. Feels like I can fly.